As a web designer, my job usually doesn't involve much travel, but recently it did land me at my company's New York City office for a week. I was working 10 to 6 every day while I was there, but in a city like New York, that still left me plenty of time to explore in the mornings and in the evenings. I ate a lot of good food, saw quite a few landmarks, parks, skyscrapers, tried to find Mr. Robot at Coney Island, you know, standard touristy stuff. But I also spent some time tracking down shops that sell my favorite things, Japanese imports, video games, and especially Japanese import video games. While there weren't as many shops as you might expect, New York City definitely didn't disappoint. The first shop I visited was actually a Japanese chain bookstore in Midtown called Book Off, located at 49 West 45th Street. Since they close at 8, I rushed there as quickly as I could after I got off work. They buy and sell used books, games, music, DVDs, toys, and electronics. There are three floors in Book Off. The upstairs has Japanese books, the basement has manga, Japanese music, and Japanese DVDs, and the ground floor has everything else including all of their video games. Their import game section definitely doesn't cater to English-speaking customers. The games are sorted in Japanese kana order. Their prices are fair, but most of their stock is for more recent systems. They had some Saturn and Dreamcast games, but they were pretty much all dating sims. Still, I like trying out obscure Japanese games that I've never heard of, so I picked up a boxed Super Famicom game called Mini Yonku Shining Scorpion Let's and Go and a few souvenirs for my wife and son, including these One Piece figures. After Book Off closed, I headed over to 1026 6th Avenue to visit j &L Game Trading, which stays open until 10. This place has a very wide selection of stuff, including basically every Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and DS variant ever released. The staff are friendly, but it's a difficult place to shop for retro stuff unless you know exactly what you're looking for, and the prices are a bit high. Everything's understandably behind a counter to prevent shoplifting, but nothing's in any kind of order beyond being vaguely grouped together by system. They had a pretty big stack of Famicom cartridges in the back corner behind the counter that I really wanted to check out, but since Famicom carts don't have spine labels and I couldn't dig through them, I have no idea what I missed out on. I hung out for a while just gawking at all their selection, then I bought Commando and Wizards and Warriors for the NES before I left. I know I probably paid a little too much for them, but hey, they were souvenirs and I filled a couple gaps in my collection. A couple days later I visited my last game shop of the trip, Video Games New York, located at 202 East 6th Street in East Village. I'd actually tried to visit it in the morning earlier in the week, but discovered they didn't open until 10. I'm glad I went back in the evening, as I can honestly say this is now my favorite game shop in the US. The place is absolutely tiny. I actually had to back all the way out of the store a couple times just to let someone walk past me. But it's packed floor to ceiling with games and collectibles for every system imaginable. Commodore 64s and Amigas, Neo Geo carts, Super Famicom floppy disk copiers, even quite a bit of stuff signed by famous game designers like this DS Fat autographed by Miyamoto himself. Everything from the latest AAA titles down to Japanese 3DO discs and original Game & Watches are sold here. Their more valuable titles are locked behind glass, but you can clearly see what's available, and cheaper games are out in the open so you can rummage through them yourself. I splurged and dropped 50 bucks on a copy of Shadow of the Ninja for NES that I've been wanting, and just look at the condition, well worth it to me. And showing my love for obscure Japanese weirdness again, I picked up a copy of Pachinko Collection for Super Famicom, a probably terrible full-motion video game for the Japanese Saturn called Blue Chicago Blues, and another Japanese Saturn game called The Conveni, which appears to be a convenience store simulator. So that was my New York City video game shopping experience. And it was definitely not exhaustive. I know I walked right past a GameStop one evening, but hey, I've got standards. You don't go to Paris and eat at McDonald's. If I get a chance to go back, I know I'll hit these places again, and I'll see if I can't track down some more great shops as well. Thanks for watching.